Did you go all mode? You ever cook a goose? I have never cooked a goose. Is that illegal? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's legal here. You can cook, you can cook a goose. <laughs> I've never had any desire to try goose because I've been told that it's uh, very like greasy. I'm always down to try shit. I'll try almost anything, you guys. I've tried Rocky Mountain oysters. I have eaten balls bowls and I thought they were delicious. I'll never eat them again because it was, you know, textured thing. Uh, I was very well aware that I was eating balls, you know, the whole time. So that was hard to get over, but they were good. They were great balls. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm usually willing to try anything. At least once. Might as well, right? I don't know if I want to try that, like, rotten fish egg shit or whatever it is. Uh, it's some rotten fish shit that they eat in Sweden. It's like, I don't know where- I wish Ghosty was here so he could tell me. He likes that shit. Fucking weirdo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so strumming? Yeah. That must- let me look. Yup, that's it. <coughs> How can it- oh man. So gross. <laughs> um... What about natto? It's rotten beans. Ew. I mean, at the end of the day, you guys, I'm saying, ew, you eat this rotten fish, or ew, you eat rotten beans. But I'm like super down to just, you know, buy into what used to be fucking cow's milk that came from a cow's titty. But I'm totally cool with eating this fucking molded fucking remnants left over from titty cow milk. You know, that's fine. You know, that's normal, right? But let, let me shame upon, you know, someone for eating raw fish. <laughs> or, uh, rotten fish. It's pretty funny if you think about it. Like, the stuff that you're used to eating versus, like, someone else. Like, you'll think, like, oh, that sounds so gross, you know? Do you actually know the shit that you eat? Are your eggs? You're eating an unfertilized, not fetus, it's like the placenta. I don't know what you call it. Like, fucking, what the fuck are you eating? You know? Think about it. Think about it. It's crazy, right? I look at it like this. People cook with Tide Pods and I get flack for eating ass and gross food. Where do we draw the line as a society? <laughs> Would you eat a coyote? Uh, I don't really want to. <laughs> what? What's some other weird shit I've eaten? <laughs> Beak! <laughs> I mean, uh, I would like the chicken sandwich. Without any beak. <laughs> Ooh, grilled ch Oh, I know what I've tried. Um, I've had ostrich. I had ostrich when I went to South Africa, and I also had crocodile. And I've also eaten frog legs. I ate frog legs. That was when I was in Vegas. I ate frog legs. What else have I had that's different? That's a pretty good list so far. So I've eaten uh, bulls balls. I've eaten frog legs, ostrich, crocodile. That's a pretty diverse uh, food portfolio. <laughs> Trifas are my favorite tacos. What's that? Small intestines that have been cleaned, boiled, and grilled. Whoa, damn, I'll try it. I've tried bulls balls, I can, how can it get any worse? <laughs> and they were good, I liked them. I thought they were delicious. <laughs> Dude, when my mom was growing up, her mom used to feed her fucking cow's brain for breakfast. She'd put it in scrambled eggs. The fuck? It's a good way to get fucking mad cow disease. Sesos tacos, all bad. What's that? Sesos, oh. Those are brain tacos? What? Brain tacos? <laughs> I've had tacos on the brain, but never the other way around. I thought cabeza was... Oh, that's your head. Cabeza? Am I even saying that right? Cabeza? I just... I remember when I was a kid in elementary school, everybody would always say... Uh... You're loco and the cabeza. And it meant you were crazy. Is that even a saying? <laughs> Cabeza is head meat? <laughs> what? <laughs> head meat? <laughs> Are you serious? Cheek meat is hella good. Mmm. Barbacoa is amazing. Face of the cow, so tender. Damn, I've never had that. Ass meat? I'll try ass meat. Hanzo, <laughs> I've eaten the pig head. You know, I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Hanzo. I mean, I... Would otherwise, I would demand that you come into my chat and tell me you've eaten pig head. <laughs> I would try pig head. I'd try that. Why not? <laughs> I'll try some ass meat too. Sounds good. Try butt cheeks. Cheek and tongue are obviously good, but brain is pretty great too. 
Just don't try say so's. Why is it so bad? Why is cow brain so bad? Were we talk we yeah, we're talking about tacos and just weird shit we've eaten. You could try blood paul. It's pretty much just barley and deer blood. That sounds metal as fuck, and I want to try that. I've had oh, I've had rattlesnake. I've eaten fried rattlesnake. It was really good. I've also had fried uh, rabbit. And I know that's sad to say that I've eaten rabbit, but it was so fucking good. You ate snake and snake food, basically? Yeah! I ate rabbits and I ate snake. Dude, I had fresh rabbit. So, I've, I've talked about this before. Like, I grew up in a very rural area um, in Arizona. And, like, all my neighbors, like, were fucking shit kickers. That's what we call them. You know, they're your hicks. Whatever. You know? But uh, my neighbor down the street, they had rabbits that they would keep and they would just like and chickens and shit and whenever they just want they feel like eating rabbit that day fucking kill the rabbit cook it up i was over there for dinner and they go they fucking kill the rabbit they skin it they fucking you know get it all prepped and everything and we eat fucking deep fried rabbit that day it was like the popcorn rabbit chicken basically it was so fucking good i felt real bad for the rabbit but it was so good <laughs> yeah reindeer is really fucking good um, I had a reindeer, when I was in Norway, I had a reindeer, uh, hamburger. Oh, man. I can't even explain it. It was just, like, so much better. So much better than, like, regular beef. Yeah, it was amazing, drink tea. So good. Uh, one of my, a really good friend of mine, her husband is a chef and has, like, one or two restaurants now in San Diego. And, uh, I ate at one of them before. And they had crazy shit at their restaurant. They had, I had bone marrow. That's another interesting thing I've had. I just, it made me think of that. They, it came out on a plate and it was like, it looked like a femur. I don't know what bone it was, but it's like halved. And then obviously like you can see inside, it's got like all the like the fucking cooked like bone marrow inside of it. And it came with uh, bread and you could just like dip the bread in it. It was so good. It tasted like insanely fat, insanely good like butter. I know it's it's not weird, but um, it's you. It's not some. It's not like you're like you know. You go to fucking Jack in a Box and place an order of bone marrow. You know. <laughs> yeah, let me get fucking my shake, some French fries, and a side of bone marrow. You know. You don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's different where you live, but that's usually not something you can just get. You know, hot off the grill. <laughs> Um, I get that all the time with Jack in a Box. You go and see. <laughs> Bone marrow curly fries. <laughs> Are we talking about what animals to hunt and eat? Because we're in the fir first. We're in the first. Uh, no, I don't know how we started talking about all this shit. Chat, how did we start talking about this? 